Christina Elmworth, Welcome Home Philly, and Prudential Fox and Roach. Today for the Welcome Home Philly blog, we're here with Mike of DTech, and we're going to learn more about radon testing. Hey, Mike. Hey, Tina. Good, thanks. So, I know that um, radon is something that people can elect to do a test on, find out more about. And um, what is radon exactly? Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas. It comes from the breakdown of uranium, which is in the rock and soil below the home. And long term exposure to high levels can cause lung cancer. Okay. So when people do a radon test, how, first of all, how do you do a radon test? If someone um, says, I want to know if I have radon in the basement, what do they do? Okay, well, we uh, offer uh, two different ways to do a radon test. We use the electric ion chamber canisters. Uh, we also use a continuous radon monitor. Um, both devices are usually placed on the lowest potentially livable area mm -hmm. of the home, uh, which is usually the basement. Uh, and if we use the canisters, we place two in the basement, one on the first floor. Okay. Continuous radon monitor, we just place the one unit on the, in the basement level. Okay. Then, uh, during, usually during real, real estate transactions, it's a short-term test, and we, uh, they usually use 48 hours. Okay. When would you use one test versus the other? Is there a difference? It's really a, a preference, really. Okay. So. Now, um, as far as if radon, if you guys, so you, you collect the test, you come back, like then what happens? You get the data off of it, and then how does how do you read a radon test? Like, or well, how do you get a report? Basically, uh, with, the, with the canisters, we bring them back to the office and we do an analysis of the office, uh, and then we'll have results that day. Okay. okay. Uh, with the continuous radon monitor, we actually, I can, there's a button on there where I can actually get the unofficial average with it. Then I take it back to the office, hook it up to a printer, and it prints out uh, the actual official reading. Okay. Now, um, if, now, is there safe levels of radon, dangerous levels of radon? Like, when should people panic? Like, what's the information that people should know once they get the results of the radon test? You want to stay below 4.0 picocuries. curious. That's the okay. limit set by the EPA. Okay. Okay. Um, so, if you have now, and you test multiple levels, so like different levels might be on different, like you might right. have lower, higher levels in the basement, but in the upstairs. The highest levels of radon will always be on the lowest level okay. of the home. And as you go up in the levels of the home, the levels of radon are reduced. Okay. But is there a point where most homes have like just a little bit of radon and it's still okay, but it's not like you said at once it gets to that 4.0 is when you should worry? Well, that's the level you do want to stay below there. Uh, if you go to uh, www.epa.gov, um, it'll give you like a um, statistics of um, okay. different levels of radon compared to like, especially if you're a smoker, your risks are even greater. Oh, okay. Okay, so and it gives you like a, a breakdown of like out of how many people out of a thousand are at risk to okay. or actually get lung cancer from radon. Okay, so that's good. It's good to know. All right, well, if people had more um, questions about like wanted to do a radon test, radon is fixable, by the way. Radon is fixable. Ladies. There's basically a sub slab ventilation system that can be installed. Okay. It's guaranteed to lower low, the levels of radon. Great, awesome. So, you guys are with DTEC, you do a great job, and you send all my clients to you guys for radon tests. We appreciate that. We, so, where can they find you if they want to give you a call? What's the number to reach Our phone number is 215-233-5888. We're the fastest um, uh, for results, anything, and most accurate company uh, to do the radon testing for you. Yeah, that's why we use you. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time.